Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you some more gameplay from Puzzles and Survival, so let's get right into it. Before we get into the video though, I'd like to thank the sponsors of today's video, Puzzles and Survival and Amazon Coins. Puzzles and Survival is a free-to-play strategy game with a zombie apocalypse theme. Not only is it a strategy game, it's also a match 3 game in which you can match shapes and colors while in battle to do powerful attacks. With this game, you'll no longer have any idle wait times for strategy games since you always have its match 3 puzzles to kill zombies. It's an amazing game overall that I would definitely recommend checking out. Okay, now let's talk about Amazon Coins. There will be a link in the description below and by using that link you'll be able to get the discounts that I'm going to be talking about right now. Amazon coins are available on Android devices in the following countries. By using them you'll be able to save up to 20% on in-app purchases for puzzles and survival as well as for other games that are available on the Amazon App Store. Once you click my link below, you'll be taken to this webpage from where you'll be able to buy 10,000 Amazon coins worth $100 for just $82 which is an 18% discount. However, you can get up to a 20% discount by clicking on the Discover All Amazon Coins Packs button and buying 50,000 Amazon coins for $400 or you can also buy smaller quantities for lower discounts. To start using Amazon Coins, you simply need to follow the instructions on the web page, download the Amazon App Store and download the game from there and you'll be able to start using Amazon Coins immediately. If you're from the US, you can also download the Amazon App Store on Windows 11, which means you'll be able to play the game on PC too. So the first thing I want to talk about is the zombie lairs because someone's already doing... Oh. Never mind, I can't join the rally because the rally is full, 6 out of 6. So basically, zombie lairs are places that you can attack to get a lot of rewards. You get 210,000 anti-serum, which is a crazy amount. Unfortunately, I cannot join the rally right now to show you. But 210 would be enough to get this guy to the next level. What I can show you though is how to attack zombies on the map. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and search for a level 27 zombie. This is a level 27 zombie that costs 18 stamina to attack. And it gives me 40,000 anti-serum. Isn't a lot, but that's all I can show you right now. So I'm going to go ahead and attack the zombie with 18 stamina. I'm going to select quick select so that when I do that, it selects my best troops, the highest tiers. But if you look at my power, it's only 3.1 million and I need about 4.1 million on an average to kill it. So to increase my power, I'm going to go ahead and add some heroes by tapping on this recommend hero button. And that automatically selects my strongest heroes and that increases my power to 4.3 million, which is more than enough to kill the zombie. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on Dispatch, and my troops are going to march towards the zombie, and look at the speed. The troops in this game have a lot of speed for killing zombies. They're extremely slow on gathering though, because it takes more than 10 minutes sometimes to reach a tile, but for attacking zombies, they're really fast. And there you go, I just won my battle, you can see the report. I got 40,000 anti-serum, some experience, and other items. I lost about 61 troops, but they're wounded, so I can heal them at the hospital. So this is how you can attack zombies on the map. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how the ruins work. So these are the ruins right here. If I want to enter this challenge, I can click on this ruins button. And now in case you're wondering what these ruins are, they're basically a way for you to test your stats from different sources. So for example, the hero challenge will test your hero stats, the weapon challenge will test your hero weapon stats, the glory challenge will test your glory level stats, the gear challenge will test your gear stats, etc. But before that, I'm going to join this rally. Okay, we're doing a level 7 zombie lair, which doesn't give a lot of rewards, but I'm assuming there's an event going on for raiding zombie lairs. Yeah, so there's this event going on. I guess it gives points for raiding a lot of zombie lairs, and the reason why we're doing level 7s is because level 7s cost very little stamina to attack. But anyways, I was talking about the ruins. So these are different challenges that you can do. There's a Nova challenge, which tests your Nova levels. 
I'm going to do the ultimate challenge, which is unlocked today, since today is Sunday. And the ultimate challenge is basically a challenge that tests all of your stats combined. So if you want to check what stats are applicable, you can simply click on stats. And you can see these are my stats from all sources. And these are what are going to be tested in this ultimate challenge. So I'm going to enter this challenge by clicking on this ruins button. Now I can check my enemy stats as well from here. So you can see the enemy has a lot less fighter attack, shooter attack, etc. But they have a lot more troop attack, troop defense, and HP. So that might be a problem for me in this challenge. So I'm going to enter the battle and let's see how it goes. So when you click on attacks, you get an option to skip the battle. I'm not going to do that because I want to show you guys what the battles look like in this game. So we're just going to click on Dispatch, and we're going to watch the battle. It's taking some time to load, which usually doesn't happen. But here's the battle. You can see all of my troops, my fighters, riders, shooters, and vehicles in the back. And you can also see that there is a morale bar for both me and my opponent. My morale right now is about 92%. The opponent is at 86%. Whoever's morale drops to zero first loses the battle. So my goal is to drop the enemy's morale to zero as soon as possible. And I think I might win this battle. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to see if I win. And look at that. I won the battle. So just like this, you can challenge multiple floors. I'm going to skip the battle now because you've seen how battles work. I'm going to go ahead and click on dispatch. And there you go, I clear 29. Eventually I'm going to lose because, because my stats are not that high. So there you go, I just lost this battle. And you can check the enemy stats here. My enemy had much higher stats than me, so it's obvious that I lost the battle. And that's how the ultimate challenge works. Once you finish this challenge, that is on the next day, you'll get some rewards based on your highest floor in this challenge. And then you can go ahead and use these rewards or points to exchange items in the ruin shop. So I can buy a few chip enhancing materials like this if I want. And then I can use these materials to upgrade my chips. So that's how the ruins work. And then I'm going to show you the campaign mode. So the campaign mode is a mode where you get to do the match three stuff in this game. There are a lot of different chapters. I started from chapter one and went all the way up to chapter 23, where I'm at right now. And each of these chapters has multiple stages. So right now I'm at stage four in this chapter. So I'm going to go ahead and challenge this stage. And obviously I'm going to select my best heroes because I want to do the most damage. And we're going to enter the battle and see how it goes. So these are my enemies. You can look at their type by looking at the circle below them. And you can see that the two on the left are both red, while the two on the right are both golden. And if you want to see what counters what, you can tap on the top left of the screen and that'll show you this right here. You can see that red counters green, green counters blue, blue counters red, golden counters purple, and purple counters golden. That's how it works. So we're going to try to attack these red enemies with blue tiles. And we're going to try to attack the golden enemies with purple tiles if we can. Obviously, if it's not possible, then we'll be attacking them with other tiles. But whenever it is possible, we're going to try to do that. You also want to try to do combos if you can. So right now, if I match this purple tile with these two other tiles, it'll cause all of them to disappear. And then that'll cause this red tile to move one step up. And when that moves up, it'll match with the two other red tiles that are on the same row. And they're going to disappear as well. So I'll get a double combo. So I'm going to do that and show you how it works. And look at that. I got two combos in just one move. And you want to try to aim for as many combos as you can get because combos will help you do a lot more damage than normal attacks. And so I'm going to keep on matching and I'll try to clear as much as I can now. Okay, so once you see this right here, my hero right here is glowing. 
This means that their skill is fully charged. And it means that I can use their skill on all of these enemies. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to click on the hero, use a skill. And look at that, it's going to do a lot of damage to a lot of enemies. Some of these skills are AoE skills, so they do damage to all enemies. Others are just point damage, so they attack only one enemy. And that's just how these skills work. Also, I have a healer right here, so if I use her skill, she's going to heal everyone. So even if my hero's HP goes down a lot, I'm not that worried because I have a healer. So now I'm going to do another combo. I'm going to match these greens so that I get the reds as well in the next turn. And now I'm going to do the same. I'm probably going to do this red. That's going to take out one enemy. Then I'm going to use Requiem skill and that should take out one more at least. And then I'm going to use, I don't know, I don't see a lot of moves here, so I'm just going to do this. Okay, so now when you combine four or more tiles, you get special tiles. So this right here is a grenade tile. I cannot tap on it because if I tap on it, it's going to explode. So the one besides the blue tile is a grenade tile. And basically, if you tap on this tile, it'll take out the nearby tiles as well. But instead of tapping, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a combo so that it takes out the nearby tiles and also the two extra red tiles as well. And that way I get more value for making that move. Finally, I have to take out this one enemy, but unfortunately, there are no tiles that attack the enemy. So I'm going to try to get more tiles and look at that. I managed to take it out just by getting really lucky. Okay, so this is a five tile combination that I'm going to show you. And whenever you combine five tiles, you get a stun grenade like this. And what do these stun grenades do? Well, they basically pop all of the tiles of the same color that are on the screen. But instead of doing that, I'm going to first use Fox's skill so that I heal everyone. Because whenever I pop blue tiles, Fox is going to recharge her rage because she's blue. And if her rage bar is full when I pop these tiles, she's not going to get any extra rage. So I want to make sure that her rage bar is empty when I'm popping all of these tiles so that these tiles contribute to her rage. So this is how the campaign mode works. I'm going to quickly go through the stage and end the video right here because it's been going on for too long. But don't forget to check the link in the description below if you want to download Puzzles and Survival. Thanks for watching the video guys and I will see y'all in the next one.